Tell them the ticket, $250, okay, that's your car now. $250, okay, that's your new hair, that's some nails, okay? Do you love me? I can feel it Do you love me? I'm in the I've been doing some soul searching, some inner, inner soul searching, and I realized that that's not what life is about. You know, life is not about getting money from guys and taking trips and having someone take care of you. Life is really about self-love, sisters. You get what I'm saying? So if you came here for some finesse tips, <laughs> you came to the right place. Okay, so now that the haters, the perpetrators, and the broke boys is gone, let's get into some finesse tips. Thanks. Why you always lying? I have a cute narcissism, of course, and um, yeah, I just think I'm interesting. So if you agree, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thank you. Um, so we're about to get into it. And I'm going to try to not get off a topic. And I'm going to try to get straight to the point now that we're at the point. Let's go to how to finesse. But this part will be how to ask a guy for, for money or how to get a guy to give you money. And we're going to start with, we're, we're just going to start in general. So it won't be uh, directed towards sugar daddies or Really, anybody, it's just going to be literally how to ask a guy for money right now. So let's start. First thing that we don't want to do is we don't want to do like a troubled lie. We want to do an untroubled lie. We don't want to do a struggle lie. You know, we want to do an unstruggled lie. Is untroubled a word? I just made it up. Let's hmm, lying to get what we want. Why do men always get called all sorts of names for doing that? Can you recognize who the real hypocrites are? Let's go ahead and look it up in the dictionary. Webster, you got me? Okay. Cool. All right, so troubled lies or struggled lies would be lies that are like your rent is due, you're about to get evicted. Ghetto. Ghetto, just poor. No one wants to help somebody who is just so dependent, who needs help right away. Who's just talking about rent, right? So also another another troubled uh struggle fib that no one likes to hear is I don't have any food in my house, my kids don't have any food. Okay, look. That scares me, and I'm gonna call CPS because really, because really, stop playing, stop going on these apps and stop telling these men stuff like that. Like, what? You don't even know who he is. He could be working for the county. Like, what? And you're telling him you don't have no food in your house. Listen, y'all. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this once, one time only. Well, no, I'm gonna keep saying this. Keep saying this. Have your own bread, okay? Have your own job. That's the first piece of logical advice you've given so far. Let's continue. Keep this up. Like I said, I have a full-time job. I have a job. And I have plenty of side hustles. And finessing is one of them, okay? You'll never know why this happens sometimes. You just won't know. Not every man plays the game they play. And you sitting here telling somebody, oh, you need your rent paid. Or even the car note is kind of a struggle lie. Because here's the thing about the car note. It, it is, it is your, there, there's livelihood in the car note, in the rent. These are things if you don't have them, you, if you don't have a car, you can't get to work. If you don't have a house, you don't have nowhere to sleep, you're homeless. Okay, so nobody wants to help you in dire distress. Now there's gonna be girls in the comments talking about, well, my sugar daddy paid my rent or I had a guy pay my rent. Same, 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 but I didn't come off struggling. And if you say you came off struggling, then please don't make that. You're the exception of the rule. You're the exception of the rule because literally nobody wants to help somebody that's like always needs them. That's called being dependent. And we're talking about and what I'm talking about, the finesse thing I'm talking about. Is being if your sugar daddy pays your rent and you're talking about like, oh, my sugar daddy pays my rent, my sugar daddy pays my rent, just know it comes with a price. So when you say my sugar daddy pays my rent, it's almost like you earned something. You earned and, you know, if you were giving up the box to get the rent, there's a fine line between that and just knowing you like that's your worth. Like yo, my sugar daddy pays my rent. Is is that is that what you want to be? You want to be that girl? You want to be that girl that just gives the box out to get her rent paid? Because I mean, you could just be a uh, escort or prostitute you could be one of those people because it's kind of like the same thing if you really think about it because he's not paying your rent just to sit there you're doing something and we all know what you're doing you can't fool anybody 
So, you know, you can still do, if you do hair, still do the hair. If you do makeup, still do the makeup. If you, you, uh, do nails, still do the nails. You feel me? But we're gonna, this is the extra brand I'm talking about. I'm not talking about finessing full time, honey. Did it before and it's horrible. Don't ever do it. In my opinion, I'll never do it. Mm -mm. Okay, let's do untroubled lies, unstruggled lies, okay? And that will be stuff like a ticket, like a traffic ticket. You can come up with something like this. You text them. This can be a guy or just can be just, you know, a regular guy that you're dating or this could be a sugar daddy. Text them all day, every day. Tell them that you're having a good day. Tell them the day is wonderful. Tell them how handsome they are. Blah, say, blah, say, blah. Right? Okay. Got it. Get it. Got it. Okay, cool. So then when you get off of work or wherever you do, you get a ticket in the mail. This is the example, guys. We're getting tickets in the mail. We're getting a traffic ticket in the mail. But we're going to text them. We're going to say, this is horrible. I got a ticket in the mail. I can't even believe it. I didn't even know I read a red light. So her finessing skills only work on the guys she's trying to use, not on police officers. From what I've seen throughout my life, women hardly get tickets, especially if they look good enough with a nice persona. They'll more likely get off with a warning while the cop tries to get her number. Like, I don't even know what red lights look like. How did I run one? Oh my God, this is horrible. Okay, so then they're gonna be like, oh my God. How much is the ticket? Hopefully they're like that. If they aren't like that, I'm not gonna say block them or stop talking to them because I have a, I have a part two to this, okay? So if they ask you how much it is, bingo, you're in the game. That's, tell them the ticket, $250, okay, that's your car number. $250, okay, that's your new hair, that's some nails, okay? So that that's the $250. Now, do you now see why it's not a good idea to run to their rescue because they seem helpless? She's teaching women how to extract money from men but not what to do with it. Not to open a new account or invest it in something. It goes back into cosmetics and things they don't need. These are often the same women that end up as single mothers in their mid-30s wishing they had the guy they used. Now, another one that you can do is if they don't ask you how much it is or whatever, bring it up again a week later. Bring it up again a week later and be like, oh, traffic ticket. Boo hoo, I hate my life, you know? And they'll be like, damn, you still dealing with the tracking ticket? How much is it? You know, hopefully, let's hope. Let's just hope that that is what, what they do. If they don't do that, would I cut them off? Me, personally, I will cut them off. I usually deal with people that get the hint, they get the point like immediately. I don't have to really like, you know, do that or whatever. But yeah, that's, that's something that you come up with. Another untroubled lie would be oil change. Another untroubled lie would be, you know, getting your hair done, getting your nails done. Because this stuff can already be done. And then you could just be like, oh, babe, like, I need my hair done. And then, you know, send them hairstyles and be like, which one do you like? Which one would you be comfortable paying for? LOL emoji. LOL emoji. All the time, LOL emoji. Okay, we're serious, but we're going to LOL emoji them to death. Okay? Um... Also, we, we can send them, you know, nails from Pinterest. Like, oh my God, which one would you like? Which one would you like me to? I don't know. Something, 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 something. They'll get the point, okay? I would rather use that money to buy an expensive wrap. I'm going to end it right here. I think I saw AMS talk about... Let me check my mic's on. My mic wasn't really on. So I think I saw uh, AMS talk about how... You could really vet these girls when you go out with them. So, like, if they go out with you and they ask them a lot of, like financial questions, where you where you work at, how's business going, these are generally girls that would do something like this. So you gotta understand the difference between somebody who views you as like a beta male provider or a person who desires you, like a girl who desires you, just you as you are, your personality, your looks, and everything like that. She wouldn't ask these questions to you, you know, so just understand how to vet these girls. Yeah, she's giving game to girls, but I'm giving game to guys. So there you go. Right back at you. Understand that she's going to ask these kind of questions up front and you got to pick up on these questions because these are questions that you um, you should put, put a red flag in your head and not deal with these kind of girls you get what i'm saying so vet these girls out and uh another thing i would say is that
And uh, oh yeah, another thing I would say is that uh, when if you're dealing with a girl, right, and she can't really pay for her nails <laughs> and hair, do you really want to be dealing with that girl? So I feel like you know I'm, I'm gonna make a video on the ways women manipulate men, and this is definitely one of them. She's using this manipulation because she's aware that that guy really really likes her, and the guy is willing to do anything to get the draws. So if you understand that and you don't put that at the pedestal, if you don't put her on a pedestal and what she has available on a pedestal, there's no way you could run into this situation. Do you know what I'm saying? So be safe, guys. Be out, be when you're out there in the world, dating and stuff like that, be safe, be aware, be on the lookout. And you can't fall into these traps. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, what you guys think? Uh, I thought it was an interesting vid. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. One, one, one out. Peace.